I just want to go back roughly a month uh, to Donald Trump uh, and the examples uh, that he has given us about why this is not going to be a legitimate election, talking about mail-in balloting, uh, and to bring us up to speed with where we are today. Let's all listen to this. The only way we're going to lose this election is if the election is rigged. Remember that. What's going on with balloting will prove to be one of the great catastrophes in the history of our country. The problem they have with the ballots is the people sending the ballots and the people counting the ballots. And who are they sending them to? Where are they being sent? Those paper ballots, you talk about a bad thing? Counterfeit them, forge them, do whatever you want. It's a very serious problem. Fake ballots, millions and millions of ballots. Cheating with those ballots, all of those unsolicited ballots, those millions of ballots. It's a scam. Sending ballots. This is going to be the scam of all time. They're trying to make our numbers look bad. There's fraud. There's missing ballots. There's going to be fraud. It's a disaster. What they're doing is a hoax with the ballots. One of the great embarrassments in the history of our country. They're setting it up for chaos. What they're doing is trying to sow confusion and everything else. I think it's going to be a terrible time for this country. Shannon, what's going on here? Uh, is it the polling that indicates to the president that he is trailing in this election and, the, uh, and either he's trying to distract from that or he's trying to motivate his people to get out? Or uh, what, what is he doing? Well, you know, Ali, you went back about a month. If you go back a little bit further than that, uh, you know, two or three months, the president was talking about all mail-in balloting, absentee balloting, any, any ballots sent in through the mail, he was saying were susceptible to fraud. Then his advisors, senators who are in tough Senate races, uh, governors, started telling him, listen, we really need people to be mailing in their votes or they're just not going to vote for us. We're heavily reliant on people voting by mail. So then he shifted his argument and the White House shifted their argument to talking about universal mail-in ballots. That's where everyone in a state is, every registered voter, I should say, in a state is sent a ballot in the mail. You don't have to request it. You automatically get it. Well, only nine states in the District of Columbia are expected to do that. And only one of those states, Nevada, is even remotely a swing state. Uh, the other states, California, Oregon, Washington, New Jersey, uh, the president is expected to lose by double digits like he did in 2016. So he is raising an issue with a form of voting that is taking place in heavily Democratic states where he has no contest. However, the White House continues to try and mush the two together. Mm -hmm. And while they talk about universal mail-in balloting, in the same breath, they are talking about Pennsylvania and Wisconsin and raising some sort of bizarre, unsubstantiated claims today about, um, you know, uh, random ballots being discarded or found in a river, the president said. Um, so comparing the two, so people at home would think that in Pennsylvania, millions of people are getting ballots. And so if the race is closed there, it has something to do with with this idea of every registered voter getting a ballot in the mail. So it's an inter I mean, it's an interesting needle they're trying to thread between raising an yeah. issue with a type of voting that's not going to have an effect on the president's results and then trying to put that on top of states that just have regular absentee voting like we've had for decades in a lot of places. And, and Maya, in doing that, he's now added this component of uh, not perhaps legitimizing the outcome of the election and then uh, not necessarily leaving office. And uh, Senator Bernie Sanders was on with Rachel in the last uh, in nine at the nine o'clock hour. Let's listen to what he told her. I am worried and have been worried for a long time that we have a president who will refuse to leave office if he loses the election. And what I believe we have got to do is listen carefully to what he says. I know there are people out there who say, oh, Trump's crazy. He says this, he says that. Don't take him seriously. Take him seriously. And I think, Maya, most of us can agree with Bernie Sanders on this one. Uh, listen to what he says, because he often follows through. What are you supposed to do with this information? How are you processing the information where Donald Trump has been delegitimizing the election for well over a month now and now says, maybe I won't leave office? 
So I process it in a couple of ways. First of all, I process it as a sign that Donald Trump feels very <laughs> vulnerable in terms of his reelection bid. So vulnerable that what we also thought tonight in Jacksonville with some his usual uh, lies and misrepresentations, including about ethanol in Iowa. Why was he talking about ethanol in Iowa? Because he is worried about losing Iowa. Uh, so what he has to do then is try to tell the American public not to believe their lying eyes. Right. This is something that's not new for Donald Trump. And I think this is the point about mail in balloting. And we should make this very clear. We only have good data about the reliability of mail in balloting for the most part. We have five states that have been doing mail in balloting before 2020 as of right, meaning you just get a ballot in the mail and you vote by mail. So it is simply not true, but it is, it is because he believes he will lose that he's hedging his bets and threatening. And I absolutely uh, agree with Bernie Saunders because Maya Angelou said it best. If someone tells you who they yeah. are, believe them the first time. He's the telling us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.